as it was in the days of Pentecost so it is, a Jesus on the throne international ministry. The presence of the Holy Spirit filled the atmosphere as the worshippers were deep in worship. Let us watch how God Almighty showed his mightiness in the auditorium as God opens the eyes of the people's heart to see him. Among many people, let us watch a few testifiers among the worshippers who had such encounter and his experience after the ongoing worship. So I'm, I'm here for your spirit. I'm not here for your body. God is taking care of your body already. What you, God destined you to pass through through this body, he has destined it. No one can change it. So the one you can change yourself is your spirit. That is why you can change yourself. But your body is destined. If you say you're poor, till you enter the kingdom of God, that is poor. If you say you become rich, nothing anyone can do about it. I had a message this morning. He has a message. I know the reason why I step here. I, when the, the worship was going on, I felt so heavy, so I was sitting down. Then along the way, I lifted up my head and I saw that you were on the pulpit. You knelt down on the altar. But I realized there was a tall man kneeling down there. Where? Come. <laughs> Now I told you people, I, I need to allow you people so that you will believe what I'm talking about. I'm telling you people I'm not the one talking. There's another man. This is the Thomas I saw. So I'm allowing them to talk. It's not to glorify this pledge. This pledge is nonsense. It's useless. I see it as useless. This pledge. The one I value is my spirit. The one I'm speaking now. So it's because of your spirit. That's why I allow her to be talking. Your spirit. I'm, I'm here because of your spirit. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Say it again. As Apostle came in, he knelt by the altar. But I realized he wasn't the one. He was a very tall man. How tall he is? I, I could see to the end of his head. Mm -hmm. Very tall. And wearing white apparel. White gown. White gown. And the whole body was sparkling. Then he was holding a lamb in his right armpit like this. And they said the lamb is his servant, Apostle Daniel. So he was holding it. Then the lamb was blinking, or I don't know how to put it, moving the tongue. And whilst the tongue was moving up and down, water was splashing out of the mouth. Then he said this is a spring of living waters and i could see that the entire altar was flooded the water was very white coming out like a snow then it flows from the altar down to the auditorium the entire auditorium was flooded then he was pointing to the lamb bring my souls to my kingdom Bring my souls to my kingdom. These are my chosen ones. Bring them to my kingdom. So he was talking to the lamb. Friend apostle. He called the lamb my apostle. I brought you here to bring my souls to my kingdom. So this is a spring of living waters that is flowing through the entire auditorium. So what I saw was some people were drinking, but there were few souls that were standing watching. And he was telling those watching that they should go and work on themselves because this is a ground of liberty. He said, this is the ground of what? Liberty. Your name? Mrs. You were brought in. From where? From Florida. Thank God, it's from Bota region. As we mentioned Nigeria now, maybe you are called somebody from Nigeria now. Uh, <laughs> that's why I asked for where. I go to review people so that after every just go ask, ask her. 
Christian, she has more relationship with you than even me. Many of you might have known her village everywhere. You can meet her. Is it true that you saw this? You see the water. And I was telling you people, work on yourself. You see, how many of us now will live here and it should be led by your spirit, not by your friends, your relations, your father, your mother. That is the meaning of flesh in the Bible. You thought the meaning of flesh, is this, this your flesh? This, you thought is this one? It's your friends, your mother, your father. And again, the example of Jesus. I ignored the mother. We went to preach the kingdom of God. So only those who do what I'm saying is my father, is my mother, is my brother. You know he has brothers, biological brothers. What else again? This one, I emphasize on this because this is the real testimony. He's telling you, learn. It's not, it's not this one, no, this body you're looking at. Oh. It's my spirit. He told you, it's this body they are looking at. It's not this body he's describing. The one Jesus is referring to is my spirit. He's not referring to this you're looking at. This is salvation. The salvation has come to your home. Ignoring it. You know, I told you people, classes in the kingdom of God. There are classes in the hell too. Only that, that area I'm not permitted to be uh, talking about. But there are classes. It's better you don't even hear my voice than for you to hear my voice and say, I don't know. What shall I say? My joy is that everyone will witness last day. Everyone. That's, that is why I can. Whatever that I say, they say, Daniel, mm, because everyone will witness I close. Very close. You, everyone will know who is on the right and who is on the wrong. Do I need to bother myself? I only pray that reset your heart. Huh? He sent you here. To fulfill the kingdom in the life of his people. He sent me here to do He what? sent you here to fulfill his kingdom in the life of his people. So maybe you know the motto of this ministry. Our mission and vision. Isn't that what it stands for? To lead people to the to lead people to the to lead people out. <laughs> that is the one many of your body, all your body did. Well, I'm leading you to break through now. You will see a crowd everywhere. But this one is leading to the kingdom of God. Few enter the kingdom of God. Few minority enter the kingdom of God. Many majority here. So those of you who say, eh, people are supposed to be more here. Which more? Oh, I wish everybody, let everybody everywhere full. Which full? The gift God has given to me, if I want crowd, if I want to preach breakthrough, is there. If I preach breakthrough, you, you will drop your last card here. Your last money. <laughs> because I will prove it for you. The gift is there. If my gift is to look for money, you too will get money. I will preach the money, I will Prove it, you will get the money. It's not that you will not get the money. You, you will get it if all right. Very well. As I saw, sit down, put it on the other there. You will go there. Your business will boom. You will be promoted. Just put the money there. Ah. You, know, you put the money there and you will get breakthrough, your breakthroughs. You will not be bringing the money. You call him a lot of people. They will come here. Uh, when you tell your friend now that I got here and I get, pro get promoted, who they come? They will come. Yes, they will come. <laughs> a lot of everyone will fool. But I'm not, I say, I am not here to promote wealth. I'm here to promote kingdom wealth. <laughs> that is it. That's why I care. I care more about your spirit. So take care of yourself. Uh, 
end is coming for everyone. Every one of us. Every one of us. So, end, 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 end. Everyone will see end one day. Where, where will you be? Where will you be? So, thank you. Thank you. You should, you should learn lesson, huh? 